Hello, I'm Dr. Denise Paris, Assistant Professor of Entrepreneurship at the Michael F. Price College of Business at the University of Oklahoma. The aim of the Tom Love Entrepreneurship and Economic Development Division is to empower individuals with the beliefs, behaviors, and skills to effectively engage in entrepreneurial pursuits throughout their course of their personal and professional lives. The OU Entrepreneurship Expo is a public exhibition for students, business owners, and entrepreneurs of all ages to showcase new products and services in a place to get inspired and initiate your entrepreneurial spirit. Each year, the Expo sparks innovation, relationships, sales, and investment conversations. It's a campus-wide and a community-wide initiative to build an ecosystem that enables and encourages the launching of successful ventures that impact our communities, the nation, and the world. Thank you to this year's sponsors, our seed sponsors, Armstrong Bank, the Oklahoma City Innovation District, the Norman Economic Development Coalition, and the University of Oklahoma Foundation. Our startup sponsors, Bank First and Francis Tuttle Technology Center. In addition, a special thanks go to the team at Price College of Business who make this event possible. This year's exhibitors are publicly shared on the Price College of Business YouTube channel. A panel of judges had the difficult job of selecting first and second place for each division. Tonight's award ceremony will start with a welcome from the Price College Dean, Corey Phelps. A keynote from Mike Beckham, OU alumni, founder and CEO of Simple Modern, and a senior entrepreneur in residence. Next, our entrepreneurs in residence will announce the first and second place winners for each division. Unfortunately, we only have time to showcase the first place video. Please visit the Price College of Business YouTube channel to see all the exhibitors. And now I would like to introduce you to Dean Phelps. Corey Phelps joined OU this summer from McGraw University, where he served as faculty fellow and associate dean of executive programs and education. Dean Phelps previously served on the faculty at Heck Paris and the University of Washington's Foster School of Business. His award-winning research, Intersex Strategy, Entrepreneurship, and Innovation has been published in numerous leading academic business journals. He now serves as the Dean Fred E. Brown Chair of the Michael Price College of Business, as well as the Professor of Entrepreneurship. Please join me in welcoming Dean Corey Phelps. Hello. I'm Corey Phelps, Dean of the Michael F. Price College of Business at OU. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the award ceremony for this year's Entrepreneurship Expo. Like you, I'm passionate about entrepreneurship. I believe OU can and should be an engine of economic growth and social value creation for Oklahoma. We do this every day by catalyzing startups, building an entrepreneurial culture across campus and the state, and by equipping our students with the necessary knowledge and skills to succeed as entrepreneurs. I want OU graduates to not only have the skills for entrepreneurship, but to be able to imagine themselves as entrepreneurs and to believe they can realize their entrepreneurial dreams. At Price College, entrepreneurship is a cornerstone of our approach to business education. Through our Tom Love Division of Entrepreneurship and Economic Development, we offer numerous opportunities for students to become the entrepreneurs and business leaders our state and nation need. Now in its third year, the annual OU Entrepreneurship Expo provides an incredible opportunity for entrepreneurs of all ages to gain critical experience in showcasing their products and services while receiving valuable feedback. I want to thank each of our teams for participating in this year's event and for taking an important step in establishing your business as a successful endeavor. I'd also like to thank this year's Expo sponsors for supporting entrepreneurship and for helping each team on their entrepreneurial journey. A big thank you to this year's keynote speaker, Mike Beckham, who also serves as an entrepreneur in residence at Price College 
and to each of the judges who've given their valuable time and experience. I'd also like to give a special thanks to my colleague, Denise Paris, Assistant Professor of Entrepreneurship at Price College, who has organized the Expo for the past three years and expanded it well beyond the walls of the University of Oklahoma. Finally, I'd like to congratulate all of this year's award-winning teams. Whether this is your first step or a continuing step in your startup journey, we hope the Expo has helped you on your path to success. Good luck, everyone, and thanks again for participating in this year's OU Entrepreneurship Expo. Hi, my name is Mike Beckham, and I am the CEO and co-founder of Simple Modern. I'm also the entrepreneur in residence for the entrepreneurship program at the Price College of Business. And I would like to welcome you to the expo. This is intended to be a celebration of entrepreneurship and a place where people who are passionate about creating new things can be encouraged and can share their ideas and can interact with each other. So thank you so much for being a part of this. My own entrepreneurial journey started about 10 years ago and one of the things as I reflect on my process has been how I really did not have the confidence at first that I could be successful as an entrepreneur. I felt like I really wanted to be involved in entrepreneurship, but I had those nagging doubts about whether or not I would really be able to cut it. Uh, nobody in my family really had a background in entrepreneurship, and I didn't really know what I was doing. And so one of the reasons that I've gotten into teaching and why I'm doing videos like this is because I want to help be a voice and a cheerleader for those that are where I was 10 years ago. You can do this. The world does need builders and it needs entrepreneurs. Uh, and it's not the easiest path, but it is a very honorable path and it makes the world that we live in a better place. So as we talked about what I should speak about during the keynote, um, the question came up, what are the, the three things that you would say to someone that's an aspiring entrepreneur? What are three things to focus on? And I wanna take just a couple minutes to share those with you. The, the first thing I would say is that it is critical to know your why. Every organization has a mission statement, whether it knows it or not. And the mission statement is really, why do you exist? In a world where there's plenty of companies and plenty of, plenty of organizations, why does the world need your organization to be born? Why does it need to exist? What are the values that you have that are so desperately needed in this particular business climate? And knowing that is incredibly powerful and knowing that at the beginning of starting something helps you to shape everything that comes after. It is a foundational decision. And one of the things I love working with the people that are associated with Expo and students these days is that there's such a distinct sense of wanting to make a positive impact on the world and having a clear view of the values that they support. Entrepreneurship is an amazing vehicle for that, but start with why. Before you ask, what can I sell or how could I be an entrepreneur? Understanding clearly why you want to be an entrepreneur and the type of organization you wanna build will go a long way towards helping make you successful. The second is, Entrepreneurship requires a bias to action. What I mean by that is that there are tons of times when you will be in a situation where you don't know what the best course of action is and you don't, you have incomplete data and there are different things pulling you in different directions. In entrepreneurship, you have to have a bias to when in doubt, do something. And often that means that you're making imperfect decisions with imperfect information, but an imperfect decision is still better than no decision at all. On, a most, on the most basic level, you can think about it like this. When your organization starts, there is no momentum. And so if you do nothing, it's, an, it's a certainty that it will fail and that it will not gain momentum. You have to start an organization by being willing to have a bias to do something even when in doubt. One example from our company, we wanted to get into licensing uh, water bottles and tumblers. And I had no idea how to do that or how the licensing world worked. And honestly, 
now that we're very involved in the licensing world, if I had known, I probably would have felt discouraged because I would have realized how much I would, how much the deck was stacked against us being successful. But we went for it and we did everything we could think of and we pounded the pavement and we called people and we figured it out. And we were able to finally build into becoming licensed with almost every university in, in the United States, which ended up being a huge tailwind for our business at that particular point in time. You have to have a bias towards action. When in doubt, do something. And then as you get feedback from the market, be willing to pivot and willing to change your approach. Finally, it's critical that you have a growth mindset. And what I mean by growth mindset is a belief that your, your abilities and your talents are not fixed, but that they can be expanded and that they can be grown, but that the way that they expand and the way that they grow is through challenging yourself, taking yourself outside of your comfort uh, levels and through failure. Wisdom comes from experience and experience comes from failure. What every entrepreneur has to do is has to be willing to press themselves and to be putting themselves in uncomfortable situations that will not go well some of the time in order to continue to grow their skill set, their understanding of the market, and ultimately their organization. If you're watching this, just know that you have my support uh, and that I'm rooting for you. I'm blown away by the videos that I've seen. And to aspire to be an entrepreneur is to aspire to do uh, an honorable thing, to create things, to make the society and world that we live in better uh, is certainly worthy of our time and appreciate you being a part of the expo. Hi, I'm Sean Telford. I run engineering for an ad tech startup in New York City. I'm also an entrepreneur in resident at the Price College of Business at the University of Oklahoma, Boomer Center. Great job, everyone. Each of you had very marketable business ideas and it was really a hard choice. Announcing second place is Eloquence Headbands. Announcing first place is Spalicious. And a word of advice, cute packaging will help sell your items. A lot of times customers buy these items as gifts and how it looks in the end, how it kind of comes together can really make it, uh, really can make the sale for you. Buttercup. My name is Eden. Our business is called Spalicious. We sell signature spa kits. These spa kits are just what you need. We picked that name because our spa kits are scented related to the season. Our business is kid friendly and blown up friendly. It's relaxing because you're the bomb. Bath bomb. <laughs> It is entertaining and safe. A perfect mother and daughter spa night. Or BFF spa night. These pockets include one bath bomb, frozen coconut, bath salt, and nail polish. And for the fall season, you pick which scent you want. We have cinnamon, apple crisp, vanilla, and pumpkin. Also have a baby friendly spa kit. The scent comes from baby soap. Get your signature spa kit and have the best night of your life. <sighs> you have so much fun at home. And if you don't get our signature spa kits, this joke applies to you. What do you call a fairy that doesn't take a bath? Stinker Bell! You're the bomb! Hi, my name is Brady Sexton. I'm owner of Scratch Kitchen and Cocktails, Scratch Bottled Cocktails, and an OU Entrepreneur in Residence. I'm here to announce some winners for the OU Entrepreneurship Expo. In second place is Hang, a really cool event app. Can't wait to see where that goes. And in first place, Smooth Sands Construction. They do some stuff that I'm not smart enough to understand, but I sure love learning about it. Um, my advice for you both and for all the applicants 
is to find ways to test uh, your idea with a diverse group of people. Also get meaningful interviews with those people and, to, and really ask them about the viability of your product or idea. Best of luck to you all and Boomer Sooner. Hello, my name is Alexander Loney and this is Smooth Sands Construction. We'll be talking about an innovative concrete extruder that allows for smoothing and adhering the layers together on 3D printed concrete structures. So the four main problems we need to solve are visible layers on the outside of the structure, the structure needs support, and layers need to be adhered together better while expanding the 3D printing construction market. 3D printing in general has a $40 billion market size in 2024, with the construction sector having a $1.5 billion market in 2024. With over a 200% growth between 2019 and 2024, this is a very important sector that we need to look at. So with the sketch model on the left is our normal concrete extruder with the, on the back is the driving motor and pressure chamber with the main systems in between there. Now the pressure chamber goes up and down and squeezes the layer in between the little doors so that it's the right shape and the right size for each time the layer is printed out in the extruder before it. Our nozzle allows for directional control and layer smoothing, creating ridges in between layers. So a better nozzle for a similar price. So for the team, we're looking for a development engineer, a software developer, public relations officer, and a material scientist. These positions will be greatly needed on the team. Now, this is just the beginning. Construction 3D printers regular cost around 180 to $1 million, which our extruder will be a lot less than that. Our extruder will be able to attach to a, a wide variety of different printers, and within three months to a year, we'll have a working functional prototype that will be attached through the printer itself. Along with that, we're going to have consistent improvement. And thank you so much for listening, and this has been Smooth Sands Construction. Hi everyone, my name is Andy Moore. I'm a nonprofit and political consultant and an entrepreneur in residence right here at the OU Price College of Business. I'm so excited to be here and it is my esteemed honor and privilege to announce our winners in the Pre-Seed College Division of the 2020 Entrepreneurship Expo. Our runner-up in this division is the team at Classmate. Congratulations to that team. What a fantastic product. It's exciting hearing your pitch and I'm excited to see what happens next for you all. You have definitely identified a need uh, in our climate right now, and not just right now, but something that will undoubtedly persist even as we move through and beyond the COVID-19 pandemic. Congratulations to Classmate. And now the big news, our winner of the Pre-Seed College Division, that is the team at Juno. Congratulations, everyone there. Again, what a tremendous product. You have definitely identified a need and I believe a customer base that is ready for this. Uh, we're so excited. I know that uh, you guys have big plans. I couldn't be more excited to be here. And for these two teams, as well as all the other teams, thank you so much for submitting your videos and applying to the expo this year. My advice to all of you as an entrepreneur is to talk to as many people as you can about what you're doing. I don't violate any non-disclosure agreements or anything, but the more customer feedback and potential investor feedback, the more feedback you can get, good and bad. It will help you refine what you're doing now, which will make your launch go a lot smoother and a lot farther. I guarantee it will pay off in spades. Best of luck to our winners, Juno, runners up classmates, and to all the other teams. Congratulations, you've done a ton of work. Best wishes. Hi, my name is Dilna Abdurexidi. I am a 2017 graduate of the University of Pennsylvania and I'm currently pursuing my MBA and Master of Science at the University of Oklahoma. Today, I want to talk to you about Juno. Now, it's no secret that plastic pollution is one of the most pressing environmental concerns of our time. One of the largest contributors to plastic pollution is single-use plastics and, by their very nature, many products in the fertility industry have to be single-use. Unfortunately, with over 20 million pregnancy tests and 78 million ovulation tests used and discarded every year in the U.S. alone, that amounts to a staggering volume of plastic waste. 
At Juno, our mission is to combat this plastic pollution with the first 100% biodegradable pregnancy test and ovulation test. Just this last April, Juno won first place at the Love's Entrepreneurs Cup in the High Growth Graduate Division, and I cannot wait to see what's in store for Juno in the future. Thank you for your time today, and I hope we can make the world a greener place together. Hello, I'm Pam Battle, Director of Development for Bergen Enterprises and Entrepreneur and Resident at Price College of Business. The second place winner for Pre-Seed Community is Do Good Report. The first place winner for Pre-Seed Community is Nets Mini Market. My advice for the award winners is to embrace grit. Launching a business is not easy, but nothing worth doing is. Be humble enough to ask for advice and help when needed. What's going on, y'all? My name is Antoinette Webster, and I cared enough to support. For over two decades, there has not been a grocery store located in the Northeast community that has great customer service, cleanliness, fresh, quality products, and affordable prices. Imagine having to drive more than five miles just to grab a loaf of bread. I cared enough to notice. Nets Mini Market is a food grocery store that will be located in the heart of the Northeast community. We will sell products such as meats, canned goods, beverages, hygiene products, and much more. My top priority is to build a team that has great customer service and to serve with a purpose. We will offer online ordering, which would allow the customer the option to pick up their products from the market or you have the option to have your items delivered to your door if you live within a five mile radius. I care. I grew up here on Northeast 4th Street. My grandmother lives on this street as well. Myself, siblings, cousins, and childhood friends, we all attended a daycare on Northeast 2nd called Kitty Village. My nephew now attends that same daycare. Noticeably, we have a lot of history within the Northeast area. We also used to go right down the street to this place we called the center. This is what kept us out of trouble and where we relieved a lot of energy. This is also where we played basketball, utilized karate, and swam from sunup to sundown. And I'm sure if you search deep enough, you will have that connection as well. After my childhood years, I graduated high school and earned a four-year scholarship to the University of Tulsa. This is where I majored in communications and minored in deaf education. I always knew that one of my purposes was to help, whether that's to help people or to help contribute my talents to better something. I knew I was here to help. We found a perfect location located on Northeast 4th and Phillips that has not been utilized in years and is waiting for investment from the right tenant. I've reached out to local residents as to what type of products and services they would like to see within the market. I'm here to serve. We cared enough to support by bringing that to many market to the local community. Now, we ask that you care enough to support. I want to thank everyone who's invested their time within this process, and I'm looking forward to your support. Thank you. Hi, my name is Shana Kaderi, founder, president, and CEO of Agribioformatics, a data analytics company here in Norman, Oklahoma. I'm also an entrepreneur resident at the University of Oklahoma Price College of Business. I'm here today to announce the winners for the 2020 OU Expo Seed Round competition. So, without further ado, for the second place, the award goes to Real Kitchen, congratulations guys, proud of you guys. Keep up the great work and enjoy the win. And to announce the first place for the 2020 OU Seed Round Competition, and the award goes to Riz Wall. Congratulations guys, proud of you guys. Enjoy the win, looking forward to see what you guys will be doing in the nearest future as well. 
but also to everybody that was part of this competition that I applied but didn't win. Just know you guys are already a success in my book. It takes guts to be an entrepreneur. So don't ever stop, keep pushing. Don't let nobody tell you it's not possible. And remember, it's not the destination, but the journey. Thank you guys very much and God bless. know what you're thinking. We're just a bunch of kids, but we are kids of the future. 27 months ago, we took slap bands and merged them with augmented reality. That's when we got Wrist World. We've learned so much through our teams here at Wrist World, like our finance team, music, 3D modeling, art, and marketing. Augmented reality is a software that brings 3D images into the real world using a camera. To play the game, you just scan the wristband with the app and Wrist World will pop up. There are five bands to play on, and each is a different level of the game. And you can explore all these levels on these bands in game mode and show off all your progression on wrist mode, right on your wrist. It's pretty cool, right? Wrist World has even had quite a few public engagements, talks, and experiences. This includes speaking at Leadership Oklahoma, Oklahoma Adventure Forum, at TEDx, and we've even been to the New York International Toy Fair two years in a row. When we were there, we got an amazing licensing deal with Hatsume Miku. Miku is a virtual character with a huge and growing fan base. We've given her her own band to answer the Wrist World collection. We launched in October of 2019 with amazing sales. And now we are, we are releasing our new band to help increase those amazing sales. Being a kid team, our hard work has really paid off. We are learning the business as we go, and we know that winning this competition will help Wrist World reach new heights. We sincerely hope that they will find us and our project worthy. Thank you for your time. We are proud of all the 2020 OU Entrepreneurship Expo exhibitors. Each of you have taken a step towards advancing your business. And thank you again to this year's sponsors, our seed sponsors, Armstrong Bank, the Oklahoma City Innovation District, the Norman Economic Development Coalition, and the University of Oklahoma Foundation. Our startup sponsors, Bank First, and Francis Tuttle Technology Center. We are looking forward to seeing how your businesses evolve, learning what new ideas take shape, and having you participate in next, year, next year's expo. Thank you.